Good morning, Healthy Wealthy Society. How are you all getting on? How are you feeling right now? How's how's everyone getting on? I think, you know, world's still rocking and rolling in 2020, isn't it? I'd love to hear how are things going for you and how are you feeling about building your business right now? Uh, hit me some likes or loves or comments so that I know that you can hear me and see me and all those things. For any coach who's feeling apprehensive about the future of coaching or your business right now, today's video is going to be just for you. I wanted to pop in and share with you an exercise that I take my clients through that can help shift you from fear from like feeling uncertain to taking real strategic action and taking that action from a place of positive energy. When you feel blocked, this can is what, you know, can stop you moving into creating your coaching business and lifestyle that you most feel aligned with. So trust me, the visualization exercises that I'm going to take you through today are super, super powerful. So before we go in let me check that you can see me and hear me and all those good things when let's just check that oh yep i can see that it is there all right i'll keep an eye on your comments then excellent so look when i meet with a client we have our first strategy session there's a really important meditation that we go through that can mean the difference between doing a bunch of random unorganized activities versus working towards a, a very specific vision for themselves. And I'm going to do a modified version of that here for you today. So have a seat, settle in, have a cup of tea or coffee. I should have grabbed one before I came in here too. <laughs> the goal is for you to have a clear vision of what you really want to create in your health coaching business that includes your business lifestyle and your personal lifestyle. And here's a common theme that we address and why this video is so timely and so needed right now. Right now, the future can feel uncertain. That's a fact. However, no matter where we're living, what year we're living in, the future is kind of always uncertain. There's no guarantees, and especially no guarantees when you set up a business. So we work with levels of uncertainty every day as an entrepreneur. And with that being true, give yourself some credit for all the times that you've probably already taken action when you didn't know the outcome. We do it all the time. In business, we know a lot of the time that we are calculating different risks. Business is a game of risk. And, and it's more than that, though. Yes, there's risk, but there's huge servings of trust as well. Trust has been one of my words of the year. It wasn't what I started out the year as, but having that word around me a lot, trust, just reminds me, like when you drop into trust, like we're good we're good and coaches uh, you know you like me some of us are the most intuitive people around and you know when to trust your intuition it often then leads to amazing results when you do so right and so it's our monkey mind our overthinking that often gets in the way and in your coaching business intuition can serve you well when you know how to bring it in so here's what's always true your intuition will let you know when you are living your life in alignment with what's best for you. Your intuition will also let you know when you're not. Working jobs that feel completely out of alignment for you will be something you can always feel if you're in a corporate job or a job that's uh, toxic or something like that. You will know it's unpleasant. You feel it. And your intuition about pursuing coaching and helping others is there for a reason. And now it's a matter of listening to that and making it happen. So why don't we always follow our intuition? I mean, this is a, an interesting question, right? Seems so easy, seems so obvious, like just follow your intuition. <laughs> well, the reason we don't follow our intuition as easily is simply because of fear. You know, you might have that gut feeling, that knowing. Most new health coaches I talk to have that gut feeling, knowing about the right path for you. But then there's learned judgment from others about jobs, careers, what we should be doing for our living. 
other people's opinions, opinions about the economy, all those kind of things, they stir up fear and indecision. And we lose track of that knowing. So we're going to work through that today. Sit tight. The fear can drive us, you know, into away from our intuition. The fear can drive us into jobs we hate, but that we're told will be more secure. The truth is every job's uncertain. You can't know the future of any company you work for, nor can you guarantee the future of any position you're working for. And if you're someone who like knows that working the nine to five lifestyle is draining for you and really hard to stick with that no matter what you do it might be something to listen to maybe at work or at home you like feel like your head's often in the cloud or you're dreaming up all the ways you can get out and start creating a life that you want in a life where you get to help people maybe you're going to be teaching and coaching and and doing public speaking and going on podcast interviews and being featured in the media and, and building an amazing audience that you can impact with your work an amazing community of people who have shared values about health and wellness and healing i mean it sounds so dreamy doesn't it And then we go and just sit on the fence. (laughs) Can I go in that direction and really pursue that? Or do I settle with a a safer option? Who's relating? Is this anything? I mean, I see this all the time. Oh, I see a comment here, Sarah. So true. You have to distinguish between what is fear and what is intuition a lot of the time. Yeah, we do. And so shall we jump in? Are we ready? What I'd like to do is think about what your future self would have wished you'd done differently okay that's what we're going to do you might even want to close your eyes and get comfy and as i talk about this i want you to start thinking about what your future self would have wished you'd done differently today this isn't about regret it's about perspective so instead of waiting until you are that future self in the exercise you get to envision yourself in the future and when you do that You can actually look back into the present as though it's the past and think about the seeds that you now know need to be planted to get to that future vision. I'm always asking myself when I have decisions to make, what will future me wish that I'd done? How would future me wish I'd worked through this year? How would future me wish I'd used this time? Whether it's a different time, an uncertain time, whatever, what will future me wish that I'd done? So I'm going to share some questions with you. I invite you to open up about your own perspective on your possibilities, especially if you are determined to get away from a lifestyle or or a uh, job uh, or a career that's draining you. And if you really are dedicated to creating one that you love. And I know many health coaches can relate to this. That's often what we're going for. You know, we talk about work-life balance and it's really going to feel more balanced when you do love the work that you do on a day-to-day basis. So before answering these questions, and like I said, you're going to be able to close your eyes if you want, or you might just want to journal with a pen and paper. I encourage you to take some deep breaths. Maybe close your eyes, whether you don't, you know, you can either keep them closed the whole way through or you're welcome to open and journal, but to start with eyes closed and some deep breaths take a moment to land in your body and try to approach your answers from a present and a grounded place dropping into your heart if possible and out of the head and this first part is going to be about your past self we're actually going to go to the past first we're going to start by jumping into the past and getting some perspective on being a future self. So you're going to look at what you were doing in the past. Do a bit of a scan. I do this with my advanced clients on like a timeline. We go up and down the past. What were you doing in the past? Can you give yourself credit for how far you've come, for things you've been learning, perspectives you've been opening to, things you've been trying? Appreciate how far you've come And then imagine what we could be different if you had have even planted different seeds back then. No rights, no wrongs, no regrets, just imagination. Where were you 90 days ago? What were you dreaming about 90 days ago? What was your daily life like? What were you wanting for the future? What has changed or perhaps what hasn't changed? What have you done in the last 90 days? 
Now stretch your mind and go back a year. I can feel like quite a lot's changed, right? In even more than you might appreciate until you spend some time and just examine the last year, examine the mindsets that you had a year ago, the beliefs you had a year ago. What were you learning or wanting to learn? What was going on in your personal life, in your relationships, in your health? What was going on in your career? What did you want for your career? Were you dreaming of being a health coach? Had you never even thought about it at that point? What's changed? What have you done? What haven't you done? And then let's keep going back further. Go back two years. Have a picture in your mind of everything that's taken place in those two years. You can be journaling. You can be visioning. Visioning. (laughs) And then go back five years. And then keep going back even further if you like. You can just keep expanding this out in ripple effects. And the further you stretch your mind and learning, cast a wider lens on the bigger picture to see things in the big picture that you're just now beginning to appreciate about your growth and with so much compassion look at how far you've come look at all the things you've been learning and stretching into and pushing through and stumbling across and you know like with so much love and gratitude look at you and your growth and now with a lens of compassion and appreciation what does your current self which is technically the future self to the past self (laughs) what does the current self wish that you might have planted back in that time a long time ago that would have grown now with compassion and love i say compassion this is not about regret it's about having an aha moment of oh if i had have done that all that time ago this might be slightly different now we learn from things we did or didn't do It's not about how we fail, that we made a mistake. It's about how we're learning and what could have been different and reminded that we have the power to act now. I'll just give you a moment to write any further thoughts on your past self and feel free to share them in the chat. If you're journaling, you can share. If you've got your eyes closed, you might want to stay there and stay relaxed. (laughs) Uh, We've got Simone saying, so much can be achieved in 90 days. It's amazing what we can do when we have a clear strategy. Absolutely. So true. Have to distinguish between what is fair and intuition. Oh, very relatable. Yes, Sarah. Ah, All right. We move into the second part. The second part is now about your future self. You're going to do the same exercise, but instead jump into the future. We're going to jump 90 days into the future. What are you hoping today will shift for you in the next three months? Maybe there's a big decision to make. What sets you on the path to create the kind of health coaching business you really want? What are you hoping to do in 90 days? Are there decisions to be made? Are there leaps to be made? Are there commitments to be made? What does future you 90 days from now wish you were doing? How about a year from now? Let's go to step two. How about a year from now? Are you running your business already? Are you seeing clients? How many? How's that looking? How many clients? How many days a week? What does it feel like? Are you working for yourself full time or part time? What does your day to day life look like one year from now? Okay, from there, you know what? We're going to jump five years in the future. You're more experienced, maybe more well-known, more connected. You're probably receiving referrals. You've probably built community. Maybe you're teaching courses and getting asked to speak on podcasts. What does it feel like now from that five-year future self? What does your life look like five years from now? I'd love to hear some of these. What's in the future? It's like looking at a crystal ball, isn't it? What does your future self want to get up to? Tell me about the work you want to do in the world. Tell me about your health coaching business, how that's going to look, how it's going to be in your life, who you're impacting, how small or how big that looks to you. Okay, now 
just while I say that, you know, we don't have to have the million dollar empire. Something I teach in Upswing Mastermind is often a concept called the pot plant business. And that is about what size is your pot plant and really nurturing and tending and caring for your business, your plant. You know, it's like a plant. We take care of our business no matter how small or how big we want to grow it. And um, so this is about your vision that's true for you and alignment to you. Okay, now we're going to jump back today, but you are your future self and you get to have a conversation with 2020 self, okay? So what message does your future you have for yourself 2020? Meaning today. <laughs> I'm filming this in 2020. If you're watching it later, maybe it's 2021. But as a future self gets to have a conversation with today you, what does your future self want you to know? What is your future self telling you or advising you would be great to take action on now? What seeds should be planted now? What kind of action needs to take place now? What kinds of mindset shifts need to be put in place or started? Are there any changes in your personal life that need to happen in your health, in your relationships, in your self care? What needs to happen today, this week, this month, the next 90 days to move your business forward to where your higher self knows you wish to be in five years? Okay, I'm going to give you a minute just to catch up and feel into that. Any comments you want to put in, feel free. I can see them today. Okay. So we'll move on to the final piece. You can obviously come back and pause this and take a little bit longer with it. But the final piece is about being back in the present moment now. So now you get to come back to the present and envision that you are going to start planting some of these seeds, seeds that are going to grow and flourish and help you create the 90 day future, the one year future, the two year future and the five year future that you envisioned. What are the seeds? You might even see little seed packets if you're doing this as a visualization. What, what's written on the seed packets? Are you needing to create some content? Are you needing to build relationships, connections? Do you need to work on getting visible and putting yourself out there? Do you need to hire someone to help you? Do you need to join a community? Or maybe work on personal beliefs around money, career, possibilities? And just imagine yourself planting those seeds and then starting to take the actions. Hmm. All right. So that's a mini version of uh, one of the many uh, exercises that we do in the Upswing Mastermind Experience. It's a really powerful exercise. You can open your eyes if you did have them open and uh, please, please, you know, come in and share any thoughts or insights. You can come back and re-listen to this video. Whenever you're feeling overwhelmed by the present and also if you're feeling uncertain about the future, planting the seeds in this way can really help to have a leap of faith, support you in trusting your intuition and possibility, which is where we need to stay anchored to. You're also proving that you're serious when you take that first action. So after doing this exercise, I'm curious not only what kind of seeds you're planting for the future, but what is your first action going to be? If you, I'd love to hear them come back after. Uh, if you really resonated with the exercise today, I encourage you to take a moment to look around at what we are offering in Upswing Mastermind. The Upswing Mastermind is our signature framework for beginner health coaches, step by step right through the process of building your business. It's a holistic approach to building your coaching business. I call it a, ba a balance of, or at least a dance, of feminine and masculine approaches to business to take you through the vision and belief work, which is so important to have us in true alignment to our true selves, but also taking actual strategic action following proven health coaching business and marketing frameworks. We need both in the mix.
So if you want to check out Upswing Mastermind, uh, www.upswingmastermind.com is where you can find out about Upswing Mastermind. We have small cohorts happening uh, throughout the year. So reach out and apply if you'd like to join us at any time. And also keep an eye out. We also have big intakes uh, happening once or twice a year as well. So any other things you want to share about your vision or your action steps, I'm always here. Leave the comments. Oh, we've got another comment. Um, we've got love this exercise. It's so helpful and calming. Um, and Astrid saying, oh, I so need both. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that you guys enjoyed today's exercise. I find this really grounding in my life and business whenever I'm going into my head and going into fear or uncertainty, anchoring back into my intuition and then complementing that with the practical business strategies at all. So I hope you enjoyed today's uh, meditation, what we call it. I look forward to hearing your feedback, how it goes. Have a beautiful week. Take care.